It's time to introduce you to my friend, my co-founder and a CEO at Remote, Marcelo Lebre. Marcelo and I will share a little background with you to explain why we are here hosting a virtual event about the world of global work. And we can share our story of starting remote just three years ago over some pastel de nata and espresso in my living room. And we'll give you the 15-minute version of what our experience has been like growing a globally distributed team of now over 800 people across over 65 different countries. Next, we're over to Marcelo in Portugal. Hey, Marcelo, I really don't want to ask, but how's the weather there? <laughs> Marvelous. I mean, Lisbon Star, <laughs> as you know, city of light. I am coming to you from Amsterdam where it's sunny, but quite cold. Um, maybe we can start and go back three years to the days when we first started remote. Uh, getting into all of this, did you expect that this is what we'd be doing three years, uh, three years in? Um, well, yes, no, um, <laughs> not at all. I mean, the, 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 the craziness of all this is, is just amazing. So no, I hoped, had high hopes for it to be great, but not this awesome. I mean, thinking back, what do you think was the foundation? Do you feel like it has changed much over the past year? So do you still feel like the company that we've built is built on the same principles and same values as we started out with? Yeah, very much. I was very worried at the beginning that, as you know, well, with all founders and all uh, beginnings of uh, journeys, you um, end up putting all your hopes, your expectations, your dreams in a place. And then you think that through time and onboarding so many people growing the company that they will sort of fade away because people don't really resonate with them. But I must say that I've been more than than delighted that we've been able to scale this company at this point with so many people um, and it holds so true and it's so so uh, structural to what we do still today. I, I, I think thinking back, one of the things that I'm most proud of is when we started, we said to each other, you know, we're going to take this easy. It's going to be slow. People will be slow to pick up on remote work. Uh, I still very vividly remember saying to each other, there's a few things that we want to do. One is we want to make sure to actually allow companies to hire anybody from anywhere and create more opportunities from people everywhere. But, you know, it's 2019. It will take at least 10 years before, you know, even a small number of companies are really going to take this seriously and start hiring internationally. Um, what, what happened next, Marcelo? You, <laughs> you shared the story. I mean, a lot of things happened. So for one, indeed, uh, the the trend was already happening, right? We were picking up on all the different signals, what led us to where we are today. But this was a massive catalyst, which is the whole overall pandemic and situation of the world. And, and suddenly everyone realized that not only it was possible, but in most cases beneficial. And, and it just propelled us to where we are today. Yeah, I think, and, and just to give some context to everybody listening, I think we went from a team of 15, and this was pre-pandemic, to today I think we are close to 1,000 employees working for, <laughs> for remote in, I think, almost 70 different countries. Uh, how many of those countries have you visited? Yes, uh, about two. <laughs> <laughs> Portugal and the Netherlands, and that was it. And I think one of the one of the best parts has been to just work with people from anywhere, right? Like this is exactly why we started this because what we found was that, you know, one of the great pleasures in life is learning from many different people from many different places and truly working independent of location. And the diversity of it all, it's just it's just different. Um, it is the unexpected, but also the welcoming of it all. Uh, it, yeah. it, it there is growth and and all. Utterly happiness and meeting people from different backgrounds, cultures, and in, 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 in walks of earth. I think one of the things um, that I was wondering about, and I would love to get your viewpoint before I give mine, which is, do you think now that remote work and global hiring and global organizations have grown so immensely, do you think we're in a place where companies are doing this well, or do you still see a lot of struggle around remote work and how to build an international team? It's very much early days in, in a sense of a new, something that went from a trend to a de facto standard uh, in a way. And so it is still early days for a lot of companies, especially bigger ones that started to come into this world and adopt it into their procedures. Um, but it is definitely here to stay. And so 
a lot of companies today they are starting remote, so they embed from day one all the principles and the foundations that. Are required to make it work and to be successful. It is not optional for a lot of companies anymore, and that makes it so that it's just structural and it just exists. So it's not something that we companies may decide to add as an add-on of of their benefits package. No, it is it is a true route. It is a true way of building a company, and so it, it's it's more than here to stay. It is proliferating. I think you know one of the things that we're seeing is, of course, that well, there hasn't been a history of decades of sitting together and working remotely. This is something that we all had to learn in like the past two years, maybe maybe less than that, a year and a half. Um, and it's of course one of the reasons why we started this conference to help other people, other organizations do better and find better ways of just hiring internationally, but also just. Working remotely, uh, I think it's pretty telling with the fact that I am here, uh, you're there at home, not wearing pants. No, no sorry, uh, definitely wearing pants. <laughs> and we're all doing this uh, remotely. Over the past year and a half, is there something that has surprised you in this whole journey of building remote and getting to this point? Um, a couple of things, actually. So, for one, is how I'm seeing everything changing with uh, the remote work and the way of working. Uh, Everything literally is changing, from governments to financial institutions, uh, even uh, small mom and pop shops. Where uh, this idea of working remotely and hiring people from all over the globe, it is a reality today. Even small, as I said, small companies are adopting this as something beneficial, something they can use um, more than just actual uh, the, the being demand from the current. Situation in the world, but is is it's it's great and it is it and enables them to do more and and wider and at the same time it's just how how much of it all contributes to uh, the overall end game of the future of work and and it's just incredible. I'm going to ask you a difficult question, which is, you know, the criticism that we often hear uh, related to remote work is people tell us, yeah, that's all great and all. But how do I form a connection? How do I bond with people? Do you feel like you actually got to know your colleagues? Do you feel like uh, you actually formed a bond with them? Or do you feel like, well, work is different and, and that has changed as well? Yeah, you know, I, uh, it's easy. And most people do go into that sort of rabbit hole thinking, well, I won't really form a connection as someone that is standing next to me. There, it is quite the opposite. For one, it is deliberate. Like what I'm sharing, this this is my office, even though there's a lot of junk here and <laughs> I, I love it. But I, it is deliberate, shared. Um, uh, sometimes I'm working, my, my son comes in and or my dog barks or I'm talking to my wife or something. It is deliberate. I, I can choose not to share those things. But I if I do choose to share those, then... They are fundamentally deliberate. Whereas in an office, what we typically uh, see is that people, they put on a mask before getting into an office. And the, the typical office mask, well, you, you put it on during your commute, even though you may not even realize it, but you're a diff totally different person in the office than you are at home. And so you typically already know what you're going to share. You're thinking about that a football match or that movie and you're going to discuss it with your colleagues. And so it is very much a scenery that is painted and, and, and almost artificial in some ways. I've had the privilege of working today with people that I've worked with in the past. And I must say that in the first six months of remote, um, I, I got to know a few people better than I actually did working with them two and three years in the past. And, and that in itself is, is a true revelation of uh, how deep you can connect in a remote environment. And, and between you and I, Dave, how many times have we seen each other in person, I think, over the past two years? Two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's like two or three times. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, how has that been for you? Do you feel like this would have been better if we were to living together or we were coming into the office every single day? I think we, when, no, that's for sure. Uh, that's, I, I, I do not want to smell all my co-workers. Uh, <laughs> and I definitely don't want to go back into a world where 
I get someone literally poking me on the shoulder every 10 minutes or uh, being in queue for bathroom and stuff like that. Do not looking forward to that. But it is, it is, um, for, that's for sure. I would not see, so for one, remote would be sort of a paradox because as a company, remote and being in an office would make sense. And also, I don't think we would be truly be able to appreciate what we're bringing to the world. Um, and we wouldn't be able to deliver, have delivered the mission and the, the, the strategy that we've delivered so far. I, I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's been an absolutely amazing journey and it's really great to see this like start of transformation of the world, the way we work. We as a society, we as a business ourselves and every one of the companies that we've worked with. Marcel, final question. Remote Connect is our first ever conference. Why, for the next two days, are we doing this? Why is it important? Why is it interesting? Um, so I think that over the past years and then since we started remote, uh, it, it's been a massive catalyst for remote work. And we've seen the uh, future of work coming about and all the things that have been happening in this space and all the information that it generated. And all of it is so beneficial for all the companies, including ours. And so I think we also have sort of a duty uh, into sharing all of that with, with everyone. Uh, all we've learned, all we see the companies that work with us learn, um, and that's all about it. Thank you so much, Marcella.